So what Reproducibility for Everyone is, is it's a community of mostly researchers, also some librarians and other people who are sort of allies to uh, research. Um, there's a, a community of people that have decided to run these introductory reproducibility trainings. Um, so we focus on, um, you know, the, the first things, the sort of first touch of reproducibility, the things you can learn when you don't know anything at all about the topic um, that are very practical, that can get people started onto a long, a lifelong learning path about reproducibility and their research. Um, we say we're community led because everything from, you know, where we run them to the content that's in them is all come from the community itself. So these were all created by uh, Reproducibility for Everyone volunteers um, and each workshop that is run, um, the instructors uh, take those slides and update them to match the audience or to match their own, um, you know, uh, perspectives on reproducibility. So uh, that's in short what we're what we're all about. Um, in general, we strive to be for researchers by researchers. But as I said before, there are people absolutely that we uh, appreciate in the community that are maybe not actively doing research right now or in a research support, you know, position of some sort. But the the core of it is that we want the content to be dictated by the people that are actually using these tools and methods themselves. And that's um, one of the things I think that makes reproducibility for everyone a bit unique in the space is that we're we're focusing on the content that we ourselves see have seen has made the most impact for us in our own work. Um, we try and run short trainings. So the longest trainings we do, most of our trainings are around 90 minutes. So we're trying to keep things short, then we can run more and we get more people in the room. And we are focusing on mostly large uh, workshops. So we target scientific conferences um, as well as other large meetings to meet a large broad audience of people who might not attend you know, a reproducibility workshop at their institution because they're not interested in it or they don't feel like they have time to do it. One of the things that we found is by running these at conferences, uh, these are, this is a time that people set aside in order to learn. Um, so oftentimes you can actually get in people of different career levels. You can get in people that are really new to these ideas. Um, so why we do it this way is because uh, we think it fills a gap right now um, in bringing reproducibility ideas and, and tools and methods to a really broad audience of people that are, are new to these ideas. So uh, we're trying to reach more people. Um, we're trying to reach people from all career levels. Um, and we also are trying to um, create content that can be reused really easily um, and can just be taken as a starting point and updated by um, instructors. Uh, so we think of it as like agile, it's, it, it updates, it can be updated a lot more quickly than say a course can be. Um, and our, our large scale aim is to introduce people sort of in an broad overview uh, so that they can funnel into a lot of the amazing other projects of which some of you are probably involved in, in this space. So new open source tools, new educational initiatives, um, other sort of uh, projects that they might not know about. They can come to Reproducibility for Everyone and learn about it for the first time. Um, so in general, we're running workshops uh, we're running webinars. Uh, we're a global group, so we've run workshops and have volunteers on six continents. Um, and so if you know someone in, an, in Antarctica that is like interested in running a workshop, I would just like personally love to turn that into seven continents. Um, and so uh, as you can see by the numbers, we're, we're still a small group. We've been around for uh, two years, a little over two years now, almost three. Um, 
but we're growing very quickly because there is definitely a demand for this type of introductory education. And I'm really glad that you're here and we can, you know, uh, see what you're um, interested in getting involved with.